nice. I've been waiting for this episode. I wonder what it's going to do this time. It's going to be interesting to watch. Guess what? Sir, Trader Hugh and Associates are waiting in the downstairs entry hall. Uh, you didn't actually let them in without, without my permission, right? I have added a new process to my programming and used it to arrive at the necessary decision what? to grant entry. You reprogram yourself to authorize yourself to give yourself permission? That is correct. You are very smart. Uh, For a human. Right. All right. Tell you I'll be right down. I think I need to buy some new electrical components. The computer obviously is in need of some maintenance. Oh, you stink. Hey, Hugh, you're right on time. Damn, you smell like the dead. What? No, you got that wrong, buddy. It's your damn friends who smell like the dead. Being dead and all. What can I get you today? Yep, I'm expanding my home and I need some muscle to fix up the walls, some painting and the like. Are you guys up for it? Yep. 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 We have great prices. Great prices, but quality is uh, sometimes a bit lacking. You're getting on my nerves, friend. Hey, so are you. So let's go get down to business, shall we? Some days I don't even know why I open the doors. Yeah, tell me about it. Speaking of which, I didn't. My AI is malfunctioning. I need some parts to repair with. Computer parts, neural chips, if you got any. If we ain't got what you're looking for, we can get it. Excellent. Good. I'll send over a list. Deliver it when you have it together. You have a great day now. Yeah, as long as your workers don't try to eat my face. Can't you, like, feed them before you bring them over? Uh, they look a little bit hungry. Thanks anyways. You be careful out yeah, there. Yeah, careful around those deadbeats for sure. I really need to install some personal defenses upstairs. They give me the creeps. Hi, everyone. Today, me and our dead friends here will be going over painting in 7 Days to Die. As a new feature in Alpha 16, it's one of my personal favorites. While painting a base doesn't necessarily add any function, it really can add atmosphere, which in turn makes the games more enjoyable, at least for me. If nothing else, having the ability to put custom textures wherever you like, rather than boring dull concrete or steel everywhere, I think is a great addition. And we all remember the older bases where it was always reinforced concrete, always steel outside, because that's the only thing that could at least halt or delay the zombie hordes. And not to mention, painting a new texture on a wall is a lot faster than tearing down the block and replacing it, just because you wanted a different look. So let's get to the basics. You need a paintbrush. And you craft this with... Let's see here. It's very easy and very simple. Two wood, one animal hide, you don't need anything else. You craft it, one second, and that's it. The availability makes it very easy, you'll have it early on. You also need paint, lots of paint. Each batch of paint costs one chrysanthemum, one cotton plant, one golden rod flower, and one bottle of murky water, as you can see here. However, each batch is actually 50 units. So you can paint up to 50 block size with it. All the ingredients are very standard, but there's a big but. You need to craft this in the chemistry station. And chemistry shit station being a somewhat mid-game creation, let's turn this off, can be a bit tough to get to early on. What I do instead is to find a chemistry station, usually at traders, sometimes they'll even be not destroyed. Some POIs have it as well. And I just cook up the paint there. And since you can also find paint in luge, you can generally pick up small batches of it here and there. So what you do is put the paintbrush in your hotbar, select it, and now you have with the paint in your inventory like we have here, you're already an apprentice painter. Now, what can you paint? Well, this is dictated by textures that you learn from unlocking perks, and you do this by reading books. So let's start with the perks that you need. For the basic colors, you need none. So as soon as you make or find a paintbrush, have some paint, you can go right ahead. But basic colors make for somewhat weird designs. And personally, I use them sparingly and only in certain areas, such as red for kill zones. To unlock more textures, you need to find or buy books. 
The books are decorations, faux, masonry, metal, wall coverings, and wooden roofings. So we hit R for selecting the textures. If you start from the top, we have the group unlocked by the decorations block. This one is probably the most functional because it also has the symbols for painting storage boxes. Another thing to note is that the book only exists at the trader. You cannot find it in loot. So if you see it, buy it and read it. The rest of the perks for textures, meaning the books, can be found in loot. They can also sometimes be purchased at the trader. Usually the price is not very high. The second group we have is the foe, which has basically bricks, different types of bricks, and the grass. Next, we have the masonry, which is mostly concrete and stone types. You see all these are masonry. We have the metal group, which obviously is the metal. It has all the different metal textures. After that, we we'll get the basic painted group, which is the one you start if you haven't read anything. So you can see there's the basic colors. It's okay to, to paint with, but you know it's not really that interesting. We then get to the wall coverings. There's a lot of wall coverings, towels, you know, you have the carpets, etc. Um, I believe you also have the uh yeah, you know, all the tile floor, gray marble, ceilings, and so on. Finally, we get to the wooden roofings, which, well, maybe not really surprisingly, covers just that. It's wood and different roofing types. And strangely, it also includes asphalt for some strange reason. Although I wouldn't be surpri surprised if that one is an error. Personally, I would have put it in masonry. As you notice, you can just click a texture, whether it's unlocked or locked, and you can see which group it belongs to. You can also see the paint cost. And if I try to find something different here, well, like masonry, you'll see it actually costs two per meter. And that basically means a meter here is one block facing, not the whole block and all the sides. But paint you generally have an abundance, so it's unlikely to be a limiting factor. So you select the texture, hit escape, and you'll see that the background of the paintbrush has changed to the texture that I changed it to. So what do you do now? You basically just right click. And just like Picasso, you put your mark on the world. Unlike Picasso, you can, however, take away the paint as easily as you put it on. You just left click and you'll see you'll wipe it out. A small note is that if you try to paint the same texture as already is on the block, it's not going to be using up the paint. If you look at the bottom right, it's still 4996, no matter how much I paint. I go through the motion, but it actually doesn't deduct the paint. Obviously, it doesn't make sense if you would. There are some additional functions to be explored. Some are available on the normal game mode, but some only exist in creative. With most of us being in the survival, meaning normal game mode, that's what we're going to start with. So what you do is you hold R and you're going to get this radial menu. And you have the materials, which is where you uh, select the textures. You have the paint brushes, which is what we just used. You have the paint roller and you have the texture picker. So we're going to go ahead and select the paint roller. So we're going to try and select it at least. So what does this one do? Well, whereas the paintbrush covers one block size, the roller covers multiple. And multiple really depends on where... Oh no, he died again. Multiple really depends on where you click. So let's remove this one here. So if I click in the middle of this one with my right click, you'll see it basically paints three by three. Pretty good. If I select while aiming slightly to the side, you'll see all of a sudden I'm at three by four. Pretty neat, right? And the same works when you remove the paint as well. Now, if you want to make it even bigger, you go up to the corner and you paint and you're doing a four by four. So you have to take a little bit of care when you paint. If you accidentally do a four by four when you meant it three by three, it can really mess it up. But if you use it properly, it can really speed up painting. A word of note though, is that if you aim at areas where there's not enough blo blocks for the paint roller, you can end up with splashing a paint behind on the other side of the blocks. And this can be messy. Let's try painting a one white pillar, for instance. And let me try to do that here. As you saw, 
it made a huge mess. This is really not what you wanted to do. So you have to be a little bit careful. If you're doing it just on normal blocks, it's fine. But on these blocks, you know, it, it, it can be a bit of a mess. I mean, you just look in the ceiling and the floor on the wall. That is not what we wanted. And funny thing is that it actually didn't paint the, the wood. Let's see, the next thing we have is the texture picker. So you hold R again and you select the texture picker. And if you see in the paintbrush, it basically changed the two, the same one as I picked up. So basically you can just select texture picker and then you go over here and I paint and all of a sudden it's nice again. So this is, can make it much faster just to, to do some of this painting because you can just pick up the textures that are nearby, like I do here, and paint, and it's done. Of course, you have to make sure again that you don't overpaint again. So these are the basic one. Again, materials is where you get all this texture. You can also choose the paint roller here to toggle it. It can make it a little bit easier to see which one you're using. If I go back now to the materials, I'll see it's just the paint roller. Uh, if you don't go here, you can't actually see it. If, you, if I click the paint roller here, I would have wanted the icon to change from the paintbrush to a paint roller, just to show that you're actually using the paint roller. Right, so that can be a little bit annoying otherwise. So now let's move over to the creative side of things. It won't help you in the normal survival mode, obviously, but for those of you who love being creative and do large builds, it can be very helpful. To access creative, assuming you're an admin or being a single player, you hit F1, to bring up the console, and you type in C for creative mode and you escape out. Now, if I hold R, you'll see that I have a lot of extra things here. Some of them are obviously the same and some of them are not. So let's get to the first one, which is the spray gun. And as you can probably imagine, it covers a much larger area than the paint roller. So let me get a different texture here. Just to show, let's do the carpet. I'm going to just right click here. And you see it just <laughs> sprays all over the place. So it works for larger builds to just give the base coat of whatever you want to do, but obviously it's not going to work for anything smaller than that. What else do you have? Well, you can select, it's going to paint all sides. And this does exactly what, what it says. So let me do a medical storage here. And let me make sure we are back to the paintbrush. I right click, paint all sides. So I painted it and all the sides end up being the same. So that can save some time and as well it ensures that you know even the ones on the back side is being painted. So that can be helpful. Next one, of course the texture picker is the same. You have a funny thing that is copy block. So what this one basically does, and let's uh let me see here, we can paint something slightly different. Let's do this one and let's do just a, paint this one. Uh, let's do brick here and let's do it on the top. And I'm going to hold R and I'm going to do copy block. And what you see here is that I have a bunch of wood blocks here because this was wood initially, as you can see from here. So basically it gave me a wood block that is the same as the one it copied. So if you look at it, it's exactly the same. The top is this one, the front is this one, and the side is the, the brick. So it can be useful when you are making uh, repetitive uh, designs because you can simply just pick up uh, hold the paintbrush, hit R, copy block, and you get a bunch of, of these blocks. Pretty neat, right? For the last one, which is the replace paint, I'm going to need to hop, hop over to a GameSpawn POI. Gaia, can you please set coordinates for POI number 42 and energize when ready? Yes, sir. Coordinate set. Energizing. And we're here. So for the last one, which is replace paint, it will only work for POIs. What it does is basically replace the texture that you paint on all of the blocks of the same type within the POI, 
boundaries. For instance, let me select replace paint here and select the texture. Let's go with the wood painted and then I'll paint this one. As you see, it changes all the blocks at the same time. So it's a fast way of remodeling a PI. I can change something else and let's do the wood siding for the log cabin and let's repaint and everything changes. But only within the PI boundaries, it's not going to work for your standard base. I can see this being useful for custom maps. We can easily select the texture and just paint it. But there is a problem. I had to downgrade my game version to B138, which is the basic alpha 16 for this to work. It doesn't seem to work in the latest alpha 16.4, at least for me. If you have any other experience, let me know how. And now you're a certified painter if you got this far. Please pay Trader Hugh for your certificate and go sell your services around Naviskin. If you enjoyed this guide, do subscribe and be notified of the next one. So what are your favorite textures for painting? Do you normally paint your house or your base or do you just leave it to the default block textures? Let me know in the comment section below. Have a great one. Gaia, it's getting late over here and I can almost sense the zombies approaching. Lock on to me and transport me back to base. Gaia, are you there? Anytime now. Gaia?